You thought that was the only video I was going to make today. Hey guys, it's Christian here, and today we're going to do another video where I'm going to show you my toys and stuff. Last one was Lego Looney Tunes. This time we're doing my Luca figures. So you've already seen these figures before, but now I'm going to show you them in detail. So yeah. But before we answer this, please like, subscribe, and tell me what do you think of all nine of these figures. And also at the end of this, I'm gonna I'm gonna flip the camera over and I'm gonna front to my desk and you're gonna see all the figures, up and you're gonna see all the figures together. So yeah, yeah, this week is pretty crowded week. I'm making one and two one or two videos a day. Pretty awesome. Most of them are actually going to be Looney Tunes related because of the new release of Space Jam New Legacy coming out on Friday. I hope I, I hope I get the chance to see that movie so that way I can do a movie vlog of it. And I also want to like film. I also want to film an episode of CK Adventures of Clifford there, where Bear Bear goes to the movies and stuff. Of so, and if and if that does happen, I will like I'll put the behind the scenes of that episode in the vlog, and then you'll see the episode by itself. So yeah. So yeah, with all that said, let's get started. So the first figure I'm gonna show you is Luca as a sea monster. This is pretty. This is a pretty awesome figure. I like the colors on it. He has the tail. You. He has all. The, he has all the scales. Look at that. All the scales. Plus, he even has it on the tail. You can probably see it a little better on the tail. But yeah, I don't really have much to say about him other than it's a, fe a phenomenal figure. So, yeah. Also, if you want to know the material that's made by, I think it's like a rubbery, like soft, like plastic. It's pretty bendy. So, you got to be careful there that you don't break it. So, yeah. Luca, Sea Monster Luca. The next figure I want to show you is Sea Monster Alberto. And yeah, this figure is also really cool. It has the, like, look at all the detail with the scales. It's just phenomenal. All these figures are, these figures are fen phenomenal. The face is spot on. And there's just, it's just incredible. I also really like the water bases on the Sea Monster characters. So yeah. Then we have Luca as a human. Sorry, sorry for the shaky camera. We have Luca as a human. He has some books, which is pretty awesome. Again, the face is spot on. The, the clothes are spot on. It's a phenomenal figure. Then we have Alberto as a human. Another spot on figure. The face is incredible. The clothes. He has some fish, and he's holding a stick. So yeah, another phenomenal figure in the series. This series is just so good. I don't really have that much to say about it, honestly. Or that it's an incredible series. It's an incredible set. So yeah. And then we have Julia. Another great figure. Same deal. The face is spot on. The clothes are spot on. All of it. It's just phen phenomenal. She has a lot of fish. She's holding a basket and then there's a whole bucket of fish. The hat's cool. Um, so yeah, it's it's just a phenomenal figure. Like it's incredible. Okay, so this is Ercole on his Vespa. He is the villain of the movie. If you don't know who he is. Again, the face is spot on, the clothes are spot on, and I love the vet that he has the Vespa with him. It's just fantastic. And like, it's all just, it's so phenomenal. Like, it's such a great figure. So, yeah. And then, even over there, it says Vespa. So, yeah, it's a great figure. Then we have Massimo. This is Julia's dad in the movie. This is another great figure. The face is spot on. The clothes are spot on. His base is a little wobbly, so he doesn't really stand up that greatly, but he still does stand up. And the best part is, when you look a little closely, you can see Machiavelli. You can see Machiavelli right there. 
right there. So yeah. So here is Massimo and Machiavelli. So yeah. Another great figure in the series. Our second to last figure is Daniel is Daniela. This is Luca's mother. Again, the face is great. The clothes are incredible. The color is a little bit dark. That's if if there's like one little nitpick. It looks almost bl it look like the the dress looks almost black, and in the movie it's like a greenish color. So there's a that's a little nitpick, but still a phenomenal figure. And also, I love these water bases. They're just so vibrant and beautiful. I love them. So, yeah. And then our final figure sorry, is Lorenzo. This is Luca's father. Again, the face is great. I love the mustache. And the clothes are spot on. And I think it's a much more accurate color than um, the dress that um, Danielle had. Same thing with Luca. I think Luca is like... I think Luca's clothes, Luca Sea Monster, is more accurate than Daniela's um, co um, clothes. So yeah. Also, it's the water base is great. The tail is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, just all fantastic. So let me show you them all. So let me show you them all right now. So yeah, here are all the figures. They're, this set is just so incredible. This is a must buy for any Luca fans. So, yeah. I think it's even hard to pick a favorite. Like, I don't even have a favorite here. Out of here with the Looney Tunes, I, lo I thought the Marvin the Martian figure was just incredible. But I, I don't really have a favorite here. I, I like them all. If I had to choose one, I'd probably choose the Sea Monster Alberto. Like, that, that figure is just incredible. And then my favorite character in the movie is Luca, of course. Um. So, yeah, with all that said, I want to also... I'd, also, I have to give a shout out to Eric Ole. He's probably my second favorite figure. I, lo I just love that he has the Vespa. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And stay tuned for tomorrow where I'm going to do a Looney Tunes character tier list. So, with all that said, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.